Say hi to everyone, Lucy. Say hi. Okay, that works. There's Hera Dog. And Apollo is already out there sunbathing. Alright, everyone. It is Saturday afternoon. So, once again, you know what that means. It's time for our weekly garden update. And I tell you, there's been a lot in the time that it's taken for uh, the garden to recover from all the rain we got the week before. So, we'll try and get through this. And I'm hoping that the sound of the weed eater next door doesn't override anything too bad. Anyway, Bucket Pepper, doing pretty alright. Recovering alright, I think. This one, excuse me, out of here. Doing all right. It's actually got a little bit of new growth since the last time I looked at it. So that's good. We might make it yet. So that's doing all right. You can see the basils are coming in pretty good. And the onions are doing all right still. So that's good. Like a bocha is coming out of the pot now. Like it's just hanging out. It's just moving now. Great big old leaves. See that? That's just great. I'm, I'm really excited about that. That's my biggest squash plant that I've got so far. The furthest along one that we've got, I'll have to actually before I move on, hopefully I remember to actually edit this in, before I move on I'll insert a picture here to show you uh, the big update for that. Anyway, so yeah, there was that. We were pretty excited when, when we saw that. I saw it going to work one morning, actually. So that was pretty exciting. So, moving on, the Super Chilies, doing all right. You can see them, they're, you know, not terribly exciting, but they get too much shade here. Because, I mean, this is, what, two o'clock in the afternoon, and, you know, it's in the shade. See the ground? I don't know if you guys can tell or not. The ground is still kind of moist. Uh, so, yeah, it's not drying out like it ought to. But these are those peppers from out of the, um, the green pot. So they're doing all right. Some of those have grown up pretty nice. And then I've still got my bunches of bell peppers. And then I've got the actual bell pepper plants that have been working all, uh, all spring on growing. You guys are doing all right. You're getting a little bit of height to them. That one's kind of lean and weird, but whatever. These I'm super excited about. Like, just check that out. And just to give you guys a reference, it's that big. Like, this thing is a good, what, foot tall now? So it's about a third of the way to its maximum potential height. These are the hot Portugal peppers, in case, you know, you guys forgot. I do not know what to expect for the size of the plant, or the size of the pepper, or the, you know, yield that it'll give me. But, super big exciting thing about this is... That right there. That, for those who don't know anything about plants, that and that. Oh, I know I saw some others on here the other day. Ah, 
There's a big one, right? Right there. Those are what they call pods. Which is basically the fruit of the plant. Those are what will be grow and become the peppers. This guy is a little droopy though. I think just because he gets baked all day. So, you know, he has to deal with the heat and everything. These, I'm also pretty excited about. These are those Vitali plants. Those are growing up pretty nice. They have, like, exploded over the last couple of weeks. It's really exciting to see that happening. Our tomato plants are doing pretty good. You can see a bunch of flowers on there and even some tomatoes have come in so we're getting some of those growing that one I think is the uh, is that the grape? yeah that is the grape variety I don't know exactly what variety of grape but it's a grape tomato these Cherokees, they're called Cherokee Purple. You can see it's a big, healthy, thick plant. But I'm not getting any fruit out of it yet, which is weird. But I've gotten a couple of flowers, so that's an improvement. So it is doing something but still no fruit out of it. <sighs> so the tallies, grapes, and this is one of our big boys. That's the variety. I'm not just being all affectionate with the plant. Oh, these are, this is the, uh, the one big boy that's probably going to survive. This one, Remember, this is the bucket that's not got drain holes in it because, you know, I didn't prepare things right. I'm not giving up on that one yet. Ooh, this is that Roma. I think this was here last week. Look how big it's gotten. Like that. That is good. I like that. And the dimple in the back from the stalk because it's resting on this stalk here. And so it, when it was smaller, it had a dimple where, where it's resting against it, but that has mostly gone away. So that's a plus. And then, last tomato. Oh, last tomato plant. And these are the cherries. And those are coming in good. I like the ways those are looking. And we've got another bunch of them coming in up here. So that's good. This guy's definitely taking off. So that's a good sign. Now, another plant I've been really excited about the, pro the progress of is these cucumbers. Like, they have just exploded. That's two, actually, right there. That is two plants, just like this one, two plants. But still, you can see how big they've gotten. They've actually gotten a fair amount of growth over the last, you know, week or so. Now, on to my wife's uh, zucchinis. This one here. Remember these? She thinned out some, and she moved. Let's see if I can do this without sliding, because see my, it's still so slick here. But these, remember there was one here that she pulled, and she moved it over here. And the stupid thing is still alive. So, once again, proving I know nothing about plants. Either that or what you have to do to save a squash when you transplant it is absolutely overwater it.
because that's the only difference when I've pulled my kabochas and put them on in this row you know they were you know I watered them like everything else I tried not to overwater and I tried to you know take care of that kind of stuff but this thing I don't know if you can still see but that thing it was moved there right before or right in the middle of the rain I can't remember which but we had and we've still been getting a little bit of rain you know not near as much as those five inch you know weeks but we've still been getting a fair amount of rain so I think the secret you guys can test this out but I think the secret to saving a transplanted squash is overwatering if you overwater it you know then it'll have a, a, a chance and it'll be um, maybe savable um, which kind of fits with saving anything else like um, like the peppers when I put them out, I gave them more water than I normally would, but not a lot. You know, just a little bit more uh, to, you know, give them that extra ability to bounce back because they deal with what they call transplant shock. And they will look all wilty and like they're just not going to make it, like you already killed them. But if you water them and let them get the sun and everything, uh, typically they'll come back pretty quick. As you can see, the weeds are getting a little crazy because it's been so wet. Um, I just haven't been out here to take care of it. Um, but that's something I need to do. I'm not doing it today. Maybe next weekend, I don't know. Weeds are the hardest thing, I think. Because everything else, you water it, you know, you fight off the bugs when you need to. Uh, and you, you know, look out for that kind of stuff. But weeds just are everywhere. So, yeah, there's that. Anyway, so yeah, I don't know. I haven't really got anything else for you guys. Um, I guess... Really, the main thing is uh, be on the lookout for in the next couple of videos. I may do a special video if something actually ripens or, you know, if something interesting happens. But otherwise, just be on the lookout for next weekend. Maybe some, uh, some more fruit shows up on the plants. Um, if the videos look or sound different in the next few uploads, it's because I, we, I'm i going to start editing on my computer now because we have the internet now because we're cheap and we didn't want to buy it unless we could actually afford to spend the money on it. So there's that. Um, so I'm going to probably end up cycling through a few different editing services. So just be aware of that. But other than that, you know, that's all I've really got for you guys. So, yeah. I don't know what else to tell you. Get your nose out of there. It's not dog food. I fed you. Yeah, I fed you. Anyway, Paul's over there getting sick because he ate something out of the ground. And Lucy's just being Lucy. Hey, what are you doing? Lucy. Lucy. That pit bull smile. Yeah. Yeah. Tell everybody bye, Lucy. Alright, guys. God bless.